Hey everybody, this is Dim, and today we're going to do a video on the keybinds for Heroes of the Storm. Alright guys, so this was actually inspired by a post on the Heroes of the Storm Reddit, which if you haven't gone there, you really should. It's got tons of awesome information, but uh... A user and the wolf posted a guide of all the useful hotkeys, and I found that I actually didn't know a lot of the hotkeys that he posted, so maybe you guys don't either, especially for you guys that are new to MOBAs, and I've said this before, but this is my first real MOBA experience. I only played two games of League of Legends, two games of Dota, and that's about it. So, um, everything that I do is a new learning experience. And also, I just want to point out, because I got a lot of flack for saying uh, how I didn't like the Lumberjack Uther skin. Here, I'm playing it for you guys. See, I told you I was going to buy it, so get off my case. I don't like the skin, but I, I still supported Blizzard and got the skin, okay? So anyhow, the first talent, the first thing that I want to cover is the talent spec. A lot of people actually posted on the forums saying that they wanted an ability to train the talents without having to go over here and click. So you actually can do that. So what you have to do is counting from the top, one, two, three, four, if you hit alt and then that, uh, that corresponding talent number will actually get you a talent spec. So I'll hit Alt-1, and that'll spec me into Path of the Wizard. Now you can do that completely hands-free, or completely mouse-free, and quick access, especially in the heat of battle. The next thing I want to cover is, there is actually a in-game frames per second monitor, so you hit Control alt f and if you notice in the top left-hand corner of the screen, I'll go, over, it's super small, but it'll give you the frames per second counter and the temperature of your GPU. It's good information to have, although it is quite small, and it's not adjustable. It's either on or off. Now, the next thing I want to do is cover the camera controls. By default, the constrained camera uh, is set here so your hero never actually leaves the screen. Now, this is great for the first couple games when I I would be playing and my, I, my hero wouldn't even be on screen. I wouldn't even know what I was looking at. However, you really don't want that. It is super limiting. So to free that up, you just simply hit the C button. It'll say camera follow disabled, and you can move your camera anywhere you want. So again, that's with C. And if you want to put it back, you just simply hit C again. That's also useful if you're moving around the map and you want to go ahead and constrain the camera again, quickly hit C, and it'll put your character right back in the frame. It's if you lost sight of them or something like that. Now, to go for a little bit further with the camera controls, you can left click anywhere on the map or anywhere on the map. When you want to go back to your character, simply tap the space bar. That's it. That's a nice little camera control move that, you know, you don't have to go, okay, I want to go back and see my character. I'm going to go across the map. No. Just hit space bar. Now, the next thing, which is kind of more useful to me in beginning of the match. However, uh, you could do it in the... It, you know, during the match as well. Say if I want to keep an eye on this Dragon Shrine, which is a good example to use this. If I hit Control F5 through F8, <clears throat> so Control F5, it'll actually set a viewport on my, uh, it'll actually give me a hotkey to this area of the map. So if I wanted to, say if I wanted to watch this shrine, I can hit Control F6, and now I have F5, F6, spacebar, and I have access to those two different camera viewports, and I can change them at any time in the game just simply by hitting Control F5 again, uh, would overwrite the existing F5 map. Now, in order for that to work, you do need the camera follow disabled, because if I hit with camera follow on, it immediately snaps back to my character, no matter where I am. So you do need to have camera follow off. But it is useful to navigate around the map. And one thing that I did learn uh, in the last couple games is that it's, you don't, I mean, yes, you obviously want to watch what your hero is doing. But there is a lot of time where you're moving around and you want to be able to see what's going on with the map because you need to adjust accordingly. So those are really helpful. And that's one that I definitely picked up from this thread uh, that I did not know. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, the next one is has to do with an ability casting. So if you're either casting an ability or if you're auto-moving, um, if you hit the S button, what that will do is it'll actually stop all of your actions except for auto-attack. So if you're auto-attacking, let's say if you, uh, you, know, you have a long casting spell, for example, you can go ahead and proceed with that, um, cancel your long casting spell, 
So for example, I'll show you, I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm hearthing and I hit S, it'll go right back to auto attack. This is good if you're playing maybe somebody like Gazla with the death ray that has a long, uh, a long cooldown, or I'm sorry, a long cast time, and you, the heroes move and you don't want to use it anymore. So, uh, S will stop that. You of course can, can, you can just move your position, but it, say if you like exactly where you are and you're playing your angles, S will stop it. And it's just a quick, easy uh, thing to make your life a little bit easier. Now, finally, the last thing I want to show you are the ping commands. Now, the first one, and really uh, kind of useful, especially if you have a team that's kind of getting a little overzealous, is if you push V anywhere where your mouse cursor is, so that could be either on the screen or on your mini-map, we'll call for a retreat. It'll ping the map to retreat, or you could ping your local area, and it'll send a ping to all your teammates. Again, that's really good to tell people. Sometimes you might, especially melee, you might find them over committing a little bit. Send them back and this will give them a, just something to work on. The next thing is obviously, is very basic and that's the basic ping. So obviously if you ping anywhere on the map, that will send a flashing ping to your players. Now, if you ping directly on say a golem camp or a merc camp, it'll automatically say that you want to capture it. Now, the one thing I didn't realize is that there's actually a click menu. If you click G and click and hold your mouse, you get a four-way scroll for that area. And if you go up, it'll warn a danger. If you go down, it'll ask for assistance. If you go right, it'll tell you that you're on your way. And if you go left, it'll tell you to defend. So that actually adds a little bit more of a dynamic layer to your pinging. So say, for example, if an ally calls and says that they need assistance, instead of going G, searching for him and, you know, clicking on it saying you're on your way or typing, you could just simply reply with G, right, or uh, click, and you're on your way. One thing about this, and again, I know this is alpha before you guys start saying, oh, it's alpha, rah, 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 it's gonna be there. I know, but the one thing that needs to happen is the keybinds need to be assignable because for example, the control F5 to F8, I have really large hands and I can't control F8 with one hand, uh, with my left hand, which I'm using for keyboard controls. I do need to use my right hand, take it off the mouse and make that happen. So it'd be cool if I can do something like say T as a, as a camera option or pretty much whatever I want. It, it's just kind of a, a quality of life thing and I'm sure that it's gonna be coming Again, I know it's alpha, but I, I would like to see customized keybinds, but these are the keybinds right now in Heroes of the Storm that are available and active right now. There's a short video, and again, if you guys have played a lot of MOBAs or if you've been playing Heroes of the Storm or you saw the post, I know it's duplicate information, but it is good to send out to new players for people that may not have known this, or if you've got a buddy starting out, just say, hey, you, these are the keybinds available. So I hope it helped you guys out. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos kind of getting used to my MOBA uh, perspective and hopefully it'll give you guys a different viewpoint from the beginner uh, rather than people that have a lot of things that are assumed because with this game, let's face it, you're gonna get a lot of people new to MOBAs from the Blizzard ecosystem, like myself. Uh, they might have been turned off for LoL or Dota for whatever the reasons were, not necessarily because they're bad games, but it's a lot of, if you go into LoL or Dota right now, and you don't know anything about it, you're dealing with 100 characters you don't have any answers to. Whereas for me, personally, I went in there and I see Uther, and I know what Uther, I know Uther's supposed to be a paladin, I get that he's melee, uh, so at least I have a fundamental understanding of what the class should be. Uh, he's not a lumberjack, but he is in this game right now, but uh, yeah, so I hope this, help, I hope this uh, helped you guys out. If you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe so you can get notified of more videos coming. You can also follow me on Twitter at DimDoes and Facebook.com slash DimDoes. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.